hi guys hope you're all doing great so today's video will be the continuation of our last video where i talked of the facts about dating men or white men from these countries i mentioned four countries and today we are going to continue with the remaining ones <laughs> know the facts about dating those white men from those countries it's going to be very very fun you are going to enjoy and learn a lot of things guys but before that please grab a glass of wine a glass of water <laughs> a glass of juice just like me today we are sipping some juice <laughs> or oh, some popcorns anything that will keep you company while watching this video and quickly guys before i jump into our today's video i would like to clear something or answer a question that most of you have been asking me bella do you do hookups guys i don't do hookups i've talked of this before but i'm repeating it again because you keep asking me i don't do hookups but never say never in life <laughs> our channel is growing who knows <laughs> And I have promised you guys if I come across a white man or white men that are interested in black women why not I will connect you but I'll choose the ladies that I really trust most and I know their stories so answered that guys the job that I'm doing right now is even more than who caps the ladies or white men that I have helped so far can testify to that because even a dating site will give you a man will give you the matches but they won't go ahead and give you the advice they won't tell you if the guy is real or not but if you come to me i will give you an advice if the guy is real or is not real last time guys i was chatting with a lady who is in africa and this lady was chatting online with a white man and this white man told her that he is planning to go and live with her in Africa, <laughs> telling her a lot of stories. So when she came to me, told me that story, I told that lady that, you know what? The guy is a scammer. If that guy is going to come in your country to live with you, I'll send you 50 euros. <laughs> but me telling her that means that I was very sure of what I'm telling her. And after a week we have chatted with that lady, the guy blocked her. <laughs> So my 50 euros never arrived to this lady. That is why I'm telling you guys, the job that I'm doing is even more than hookups. Please use me <laughs> while I'm still available. <laughs> so dear friends, back to our today's video, country number five, the Netherlands, Dutch men. The facts about dating Dutch men. So if you are a black woman, you are online dating apps and you come across a Dutch man, a man from the Netherlands <laughs> you should know these facts about dating them but first thing you should know is that if you come across a Dutch man on online dating apps you have got higher chances of starting something very serious with a Dutch man why am I saying that it's because online dating in the Netherlands it is something very popular especially tinder also inner cycle dating app is based in the netherlands so that is to show you that online dating in the netherlands is something very normal and they also flow with anyone so if you're a black woman you have got chances to start something serious with a dutch man so let's talk about the facts <laughs> Fact number one about Dutch men or men from the Netherlands is that there is 50-50 gender equality. You are going to split the bill. <laughs> so my dear African ladies who are like, no, for me 50-50, then you have to talk very, very well with that Dutch man and make him understand that you can't do 50-50. But in the Netherlands, you are going to be splitting the bills if you will be together in a relationship i'm told in the netherlands if you go to the bar or to the restaurant you are a couple <laughs> the waitress or the waiter is going even to simplify things for you will bring the bills differently according to how you spend <laughs> so no free drinks no free dinners in the netherlands <laughs> to add on that guys on the 50 50 thing Dutch men likes to date women 
who are working. I've been singing about this, that you guys need to be responsible, look for a job. Now you see, <laughs> you are going to lose a Dutch man if you are not working. <laughs> Fact number two about Dutch men, they don't spend their money anyhow on a lady. <laughs> so don't expect a Dutch man to buy you flowers all the time, shower you with gifts, <laughs> <laughs> or give you money for no reason <laughs> don't expect that from a Dutch man <laughs> in Swahili we say how hungry <laughs> Dutch men won't give you their money for no reason won't spend their money anyhow on you <laughs> I remember there is a lady who was on online dating apps I was helping this lady and she was chatting to a Dutch guy so they chatted for a while and the lady wanted to start asking money I discouraged her but she told me, I don't care. For you, you are in Italy already. Your life is good. <laughs> My life is a mess here. So I need money. So she tried to talk to this Dutch guy and ask him money. <laughs> Tell him that my baby is sick because the girl has a baby. So told this guy that my baby is sick. He has got malaria and high fever. We don't have food to eat. <laughs> that Dutch guy told the girl that girl, give that kid some drinking water and make him sleep enough sleep i'm not going to send you even a coin <laughs> so this girl was like he is so inhuman how can he say that don't spend their money anyhow even if you are in a relationship they want to give you money for no reason so my dear african ladies i know we are spoiled yes <laughs> We are spoiled because I'm going to give you an example like me, Tanzanian men guys, when they want some goodies from you or when they want a relationship from you, sometimes we don't even understand them. But when they want to date you, when they want to date you, oh my God, a Tanzanian man will shower you with gifts. A Tanzanian man will give you money even without asking because he is looking for something from you. <laughs> Men go to an extent of renting some expensive cars so that they can get a lady. <laughs> so he's going to give you money. He's going to buy you lots of gifts. He'll take you to very luxurious restaurants so that he can get you. <laughs> but after that, it is tears. Remember, before getting married, there is a Tanzanian guy who wanted to date me. And that guy, oh my God, he spent a lot of money on me. <laughs> could spend a lot of money on me even before I say yes. <laughs> I remember there is a nightclub we used to go and that is where I met that guy. So the first day he saw me, he was like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. So he came to me and started talking to me. He gave me $200 and told me just spend it. No strings attached. <laughs> Oh my god, I was like, what? Next week when I went to the club, I found the guy again and that day he gave me $500. He told me, I see you are with your friends, so drink. In Swahili they say, kunyweni. <laughs> and at that time I even used not to take alcohol, but he gave me $500 to use with my friends and he could use dollars, guys, to show me that I am rich, I have money. <laughs> So he could shower me with money, my gifts, even before I said yes. And my friends could even pressure me, say yes, please, say yes, we are going to benefit from this relationship. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that is how Tanzanian men can be. They will shower you with lots of gifts. They will shower you with money. They will show you that they have got money before they date you. When you accept, then after that, tears, guys. <laughs> After taking the goodies, the next day when you meet him, he will pretend he does not know you. <laughs> so that's how Tanzanian men are. Unlike Dutch men, they don't spend their money anyhow. <laughs> Number three, Dutch men are very open and that's very good, guys. For me, I think it's good to know where I stand in a relationship so I can make good choices. <laughs> Fact number four about Dutch men, when you meet and start chatting, start talking, they are interested in you, they are going to ask you questions 
and they are asking you these questions intentionally because they want to see if you are compatible or not so they are putting you on a test compatibility test <laughs> they are testing you to see your capacity of thinking how you think about life to see if you are compatible or not my advice here is be you and answer simply but try to be intelligent guys <laughs> Fact number five about Dutch men, they are not that romantic. Why am I saying this? For us ladies, most of us ladies, <laughs> I'm talking on behalf of all ladies, <laughs> we like traditional dating. We have a date, you come to pick me at my house with flowers, open a door for me, you know, like a queen, treat me like a queen. But with Dutch men, don't expect that. Don't expect a Dutch guy to come and pick you so that you can go for dinner. If he comes, he is going to complain and ask you, do you take me for your driver? Am I your chauffeur? <laughs> Fact number six about dating Dutch men on online dating apps, even in real life, they don't give you compliments easily. You are not going to be given compliments or receiving compliments easily from a Dutch guy. So if you have been chatting with a Dutch guy and you have been sending some beautiful photos of yours and you see this guy is not giving you compliments, <laughs> you know that it's normal. They don't give compliments easily. Think that people who give compliments easily are fake. Those compliments are fake. <laughs> <laughs> That's so strange. <laughs> this reminds me of an African girl who was chatting with a Scandinavian guy. He was not even from the Netherlands. <laughs> they met in Africa and this guy was with a friend, introduced the girl to the friends that this is my friend. He did not even say that she is my girlfriend and they were chatting for eight months. <laughs> So they stayed together, hugged, kissed, enjoyed good moments and this girl told me I was already in love so I could tell this guy that I love you but he could respond to me, me too. <laughs> this sounded so strange to me, maybe the guy is not that interested in me and even after returning in his country, the guy continued not to say I love you, only the guy could say I love you, the guy could say me too. So when this girl came to me because I have enough understanding on relationships, I told her, where is this guy coming from? She told me and I told her, you know what? We have to put this guy on a test to know if he is really interested in you or not. The guy could tell the girl that I'm not saying that I love you because I love you is a very strong word. It shouldn't be used anyhow, you know? <laughs> I like you, I want to get to know you, I can't tell you that I love you. So she was like, no, I think this guy wants maybe some goodies, that's all. So I told the girl, let's put the guy on a test. So we put the guy on a test and guess what guys, the guy passed the test. That test was to ask the guy to invite her in his country and the guy accepted guys to go all through the visa process. <laughs> To pay for everything, he sent her money and even when they refused her the visa because she got denied, the guy cried, guys, to see how much the guy was in love with the girl but he was still taking his time because <laughs> they don't give compliments easily, they don't say I love you easily. So that's like Dutch men, they don't give compliments easily. Fact number seven about dating Dutch men, they like outdoors, they like nature, they like going for a walk in the forest, they like going to the park for picnic. <laughs> That's so lovely. <laughs> if you are chatting with a Dutch guy, just start to imagine your life like that, going to the park <laughs> for picnic, going for a walk. <laughs> Fact number eight about dating Dutch men, they will date you for so long. You will do everything, guys. You will share everything. I mean the goodies. He will take your goodies for so long. <laughs> but to put a ring on it, it will take some good years, guys. Good, good years. They can date for so long. So when you see you are dating a Dutch guy and he is taking things very slow, 
you know it's very normal if he likes you if you vibe you are going to move in together but marriage <laughs> or putting a ring on it it will really take time <laughs> another thing you should know about dutch men they don't take marriage as such of a big deal <laughs> it's not important marriage is not important to dutch men so you should know that guys <laughs> and lastly about dutch men as we know in the netherlands there is gender equality so a dutch guy will help you around the house with house chores and they can be very good parents so if you have kids with a dutch guy you are married or you are in a relationship partnership <laughs> and maybe you get sick be rest assured that he is going to take a good care of the kids and that's because they participate in parenting they know how to parent kids juice guys mm -hmm. country number six is sweden so if you are on online dating apps and you come across a swedish guy you know that you have got high chances of starting something serious because swedish guys also flow with anyone so your color is not a problem Fact number one about Swedish men or Swedish guys is that there is gender equality so expect splitting the bills 50-50 that's their culture guys and this reminds me of a girl that I was helping she's here watching this <laughs> so she was chatting with a Swedish guy and as they were chatting they liked each other they vibed everything was going until this Swedish guy told the girl that I am planning to come to Africa to meet you in person <laughs> the girl was so excited and said yes finally I'm going to meet him the guy told the girl that I am coming but we have to split the costs he told the girl that I want to come but you are going to pay for my hotel the days that i'm going to be staying there and for me i'll just pay for the ticket and the food because here in sweden we split the bills it is 50 50. <laughs> so guys when she came to me i was very very shocked and the reason why i was shocked yes i knew 50 50 in sweden existed but i did not know that this guy that is dating a girl from a different culture was going to tell her on her first meeting the first date <laughs> the girl to pay for him i could have never imagined something like that to happen fact number two about dating swedish men on online dating apps even in real life is that marriage is considered as old-fashioned <laughs> so you are going to date your swedish guy for so long and he might not even marry you as long as you love each other as long as everything is fine you are going to live like that <laughs> fact number three about swedish men they are shy i'm told they are shy and in order for a swedish guy to approach a lady liquid power is needed <laughs> but on online dating apps guys he will approach you he can't see you physically <laughs> my advice on this if you come across a swedish guy on online dating apps don't hesitate to approach him <laughs> make that first move <laughs> he will appreciate that fact number four about dating swedish men on online dating apps or even in real life is that it's exclusive or you will consider your relationship exclusive when you start spending some more time together even without him saying it <laughs> so when you see a swedish guy you have been chatting on online dating apps and he keeps on writing to you he keeps on writing to you you just know that he likes you and something serious might be constructed <laughs> Fact number five about dating Swedish men, I'm told that, my research tells me that they don't like gifts because when you give them gifts or when you buy them gifts, they consider that as unwise spending and also it puts them in a difficult position because they'll have to give you the gifts back like you exchange the gifts so that whole thing they don't like that remember i advised you when you are invited by your boyfriend come with some gifts 
so here with a Swedish guy I don't know <laughs> I don't know what will happen because <laughs> they don't like gifts but anyway you can tell the guy that you know what it's our culture to give gifts and I don't expect you to give me back the gifts I gave you the gift anyway <laughs> guys country number seven switzerland swiss men guys if you're on online dating apps and you come across a man from switzerland or swiss men then you have high chances of starting something serious it's because we have seen a lot of couples missed couples in switzerland black and white <laughs> so facts about dating a swiss man number one fact is that they are very punctual <laughs> you know they created a watch a Swiss watch so they are very punctual just like their watch <laughs> very organized and clean so if you are a lady who is not organized mm, I don't know that relationship because Swiss men are very organized they are very punctual they plan ahead of time so you should know that guys Fact number two about Swiss men or men from Switzerland on online dating apps or even in real life is that they like their country food very much. I know as Africans we also like our food <laughs> but when you date a Swiss man then try to eat his food because that will tell him that you like him because they like their food. <laughs> Fact number three about dating a man from Switzerland on online dating apps or even in real life is that they are very romantic. They will shower you with lots of flowers, gifts, romantic dinners. <laughs> they will spoil you because that's how they are. And they like public affection, kissing, hugging, holding hands in public. So if you are planning or if you are chatting with a Swiss guy, then expect that when dating. Fact number four about dating a Swiss guy is that they like hardworking women and because the cost of living in Switzerland is very, very high, high guys. <laughs> then there is 50 50 in a relationship or in marriage i'm told if the husband's salary and the wife's salary is the same then you are going to split the bills 50 50 but if the lady is earning low and the guy is earning higher then that means that the guy is going to pay 70% of the bills and the lady will pay the remaining 30%. That's how things work in Switzerland. If you get married to a Swiss guy or if you are in a long-term relationship, you have moved in together, then expect that. Fact number six about dating a Swiss guy here I am talking of marriage if you get married. You are chatting with a Swiss guy on online dating apps and then you plan to get married. So this will be the process. There is going to be a prenuptial agreement or it's called prenup agreement. This agreement, you are going to sign it before you get married. It's very, very important. <laughs> <laughs> and this looks more on the financial side whereby they have got three options of those prenup agreement you can choose either the participation acquired property whereby the things that you have accumulated while married in marriage remain yours <laughs> as a lady remain yours and for the man remain his even if you are given gifts inheritance all the money that you have in the bank all remain under your management and when you break up or when there is divorce then that means they are going to divide equally you take what is yours okay second agreement that you can choose to sign is the communion of goods whereby your properties his properties are going to be joined together it means that both of you own those properties in case someone leaves the world then the remaining partner will take those properties when there is a divorce that means that those properties are going to be divided 50 50 a guy will take 50 and the lady will take 50. third option is the separation of 
property whereby a man will keep his properties and the lady will keep her properties when you divorce that means that there is nothing to divide <laughs> <laughs> so before getting married in Switzerland you will have to sign that but that one also even here in Italy we do that I remember we signed that before I got married to my husband but also about that agreement I'm told Swiss men like to keep their properties this is because Swiss men are very very rich they have got a lot of inheritance <laughs> Most of them are very rich, so they really protect their properties. That is why most of them sign the separation of property agreement <laughs> before getting married to you. Meaning, you get married when you divorce, then everyone goes her own way, he goes his own way, nothing to divide. So he won't lose his properties or his inheritance. <laughs> Fact number six about dating a Swiss guy is that they like long-term relationship they prefer more that than marriage and date a swiss guy for so long without marrying you as long as your salary is good and his salary is good no need to get married you're going to just live like that even for 12 years they don't like to get married but i also understand because they like to protect their properties so it's better we remain like that <laughs> kind of a thing <laughs> so if you're dating a swiss guy on online dating apps or even in real life and things are taking slow you just know that's how they are country number eight is denmark if you're on online dating apps and you come across a guy from denmark we all know there are so many on online dating apps and it's because online dating in Denmark is very very normal, it's popular so you have high chances of starting with a Danish guy Fact number one about dating a Danish guy or a man from Denmark is that they really know how to control their emotions they also know how to respect other people's emotions so they are very polite calm and respectful so when i was researching about this i told my husband i just wanted to tease him i told him oh my god danish men are so good wow unlike italian men <laughs> they can curse all the time when they get angry <laughs> So he was like, my love, why are you saying that? <laughs> I told him, yes, uh, 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 uh. Italian men, mm -mm. when you get angry, you can really curse. Look at Danish men, they are so good, they are calm. <laughs> Fact number two about dating a Danish man, you have to get prepared. If you're chatting with a Danish man on an online dating site, you get prepared that you can't get divorced very easily you can't get divorced very easily because getting a divorce in Denmark it is very very cheap you get it easily and they are so easy to move to the next girl I'm also told that they like to keep in touch with their exes this reminds me of a lady who was chatting with a man from Denmark and this guy was still communicating with the ex the ex could come and sleep at his house so she was really really confused and she did not understand why so this answers your question they like to keep in touch with their exes <laughs> fact number three about dating a guy from Denmark goodies <laughs> I'm told that they cannot wait till marriage so if you're going to tell him let's wait till marriage then i'll give you the goodies you will lose him yes he might not take the goodies the first day but trust me the second day he will want those goodies <laughs> he will want them so <laughs> get prepared <laughs> fact number four about dating danish men danish men men from denmark is that there is splitting the bills but again you can find exceptional whereby a guy will choose to pay everything or just tell you pay those small small bills <laughs> so get prepared if you come across the one who tell you splitting the bills then you remember i said this in one of my videos fact number five about dating a danish man or danish man <laughs> men from denmark is that they take things slow yes they will take your goodies very fast 
but the whole thing till you get married they really really take long so if you are chatting or you're in a relationship with a man from Denmark and he's taking things very very slow he has no hurry <laughs> To marry you or to stay with you then you know that they take things very very slow <laughs> fact number six about men from Denmark Danish men Danish men <laughs> Danish men I think that's right they don't like drama if you are a drama queen you're going to lose that Danish man <laughs> because drama really puts them off so stay away from drama guys <laughs> Country number nine is France. We cannot talk about interracial dating and forget about France. So if you come across a French guy on online dating apps, you have got higher chances, guys. So let's talk about the facts of dating a French guy. Fact number one is that they are very romantic. They like public affection. They will shower you with gifts, flowers, anything romantic, guys. Yes. French guys are the best. <laughs> Fact number two about French guys is that they love, love. When I say that, I know you know already. Love, love, sex. I even have a friend who used to work in a restaurant. It was a bar restaurant and a restaurant in Africa owned by French people. So French men used to go to that restaurant. <laughs> and she could tell me that a French guy could come and tell you, I love you, you are very beautiful. Then the next day he comes and says that, where can I get chap chap ladies? <laughs> And then the next day, the guy could come and tell her that, can you give me your goodies? Let's go and enjoy the goodies. You don't want to know how it feels like to be with a French guy. You know, French guys, we are so hot. So this girl could be like, are they crazy? So French guys like sex a lot. <laughs> Fact number three about dating a French guy on online dating apps, even in real life, is that they are easily to say, I love you. <laughs> but their I love you is, I kind like you. Do you understand, guys? <laughs> I love you means I kind like you. So if a French guy tells you that I love you, please don't start to be over the moon and think that he truly truly loves you you have to observe his actions and the consistency of how he does things <laughs> how he treats you don't think that oh my god i've found the one he has said that he loves me they are quickly to say i love you so when you are on online dating apps chatting with french guys and they tell you i love you or I want to invite you after you have chatted for a week, you just know that they are so quick in a relationship. Unlike men from Sweden or Denmark, like I have discussed before, French guys are very, very fast. Fact number four about dating a French guy, we all know French guys are very fashionable, just like Italians. <laughs> so they like ladies who take care of themselves, who dress very well they don't like ladies who put on a lot of makeup <laughs> so my makeup today might be too much for a French guy they like simple makeup but you have to dress very very well elegantly <laughs> country number 10 is Russia and I'll go very fast about Russia because someone asked me about Russian men guys if you're on online dating apps you come across a Russian man he is a keeper though we don't have high high chances of finding a russian guy on online dating apps i don't know why maybe they don't like black women i don't know guys but it's so difficult to find a russian guy on online dating apps searching for a black woman but if you find that russian guy and he is interested in you then he is a keeper they are really good men very caring loving romantic my research tells me that if a russian guy falls in love with you then he will come to pick you for dinner with flowers with gifts <laughs> romantic dinners he will carry your bags even your friends bags to tell your friends that i really love your friend very much <laughs> 
so that's how russian men are very very loyal but guys as you all know nothing has got the only positive side of it <laughs> everything has got positive and negative the negative side of russian men is they drink a lot <laughs> so if you find russian ladies on online dating apps it's not because russian men are bad no it's because they drink a lot sometimes they just leave their wives at home and go drink and drink and drink and also it's because russia can be very cold in winter <laughs> guys russian men are very good when they meet you they want to go meet your family make things serious guys serious so if you are lucky to find a russian guy then see how he treats you but if he is a good man then you are blessed so dear friends i know this video has been really long but i thank god i have finished it and i hope this video will help you or it has helped you if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it to the friends family everyone that you think will enjoy it and learn something comment below what you think about this video what was your experience or what are other facts that i forgot to give about men from these countries on online dating apps or even in real life watch my other videos too they are super good you're going to learn a lot of things from those videos subscribe please if you have not subscribed i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao